Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of Time Out. And today we're going to watch a fresh and fit clip, and we're going to tell you why the lock and key analogy is BS. Well, and you guys can take it how you want. A key that opens many locks is a master key. A lock that opens to any key is a shitty lock. Now, I'm going to give him a correct because he's talking about locks and keys, and that's all this applies to. It does not apply to people. And I'll tell you why. If you're a woman, you don't want your man to be opening a bunch of locks and vice versa. Nobody wants this. So if you put yourself in the woman's shoes, does she really want to say, oh, my man is a master key and he can go around opening many locks? No, you don't. No woman does. Now, I'm not going to say no woman specifically, not, not 100%, because there are swingers out there. And there are women that don't care what their men do. But if she's in love with you, if she wants you, she cherishes you, then absolutely not. She's not going to want you to go around opening many locks. That's stupid. So in that frame of mind, the analogy doesn't work. Let's continue. Men and women are not the same. We're extremely different. A man that has sex with a lot of women has to bring value. We can go around the table. All of you guys described your certain guy. That is a small percentage of men. If a man has sex with a lot of women, I know by default he has to bring a lot to the table because women are sexually selective. That too is also BS. Women are not sexually selective when they're young, which is why he has a bunch of young women on the panel. This is why it doesn't make sense to them. They are not sexually selective, and I'm going to show you why right now. So there is a myth, I believe, that we've all been fed our entire lives that men are hungry for sex and women are not. That is not true. I don't believe that is true. It's not, not at all. I think if anything is equal, if, if I had to say, I would say that women are what they call thirsty these days. And women have always been this way. Younger women want sex. Older women want sex. People in general want sex. It feels good. Here's an example of what I mean. Do I like what? Cream pies. What? Cream pies. Cream pies. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Number one. Do I like what? So there has been this myth ever since I was a little kid that men just are hungry for sex. They can't get enough of it. I think that's a myth. I think that we all have learned that women project. However they are, they feel like their mates are that way too. So because they're that way, they feel like their mates have to be. And here's a video explaining that women are, so tell me, thirsty. whatever happened to daddy's little girl? Do I like what? Cream pies. What? Cream pies. Cream pies. Yes. Yes, I do. Look at the way she's yes, dressed. I do. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't know what's gotten into me lately, but I really would like it to be you. <laughs> okay. I went to the fridge to get a snack, and uh, you weren't there. so good i want to give you a 10 but that's not possible so i'm gonna give you the opportunity to eat my ass two three four i'm dancing from my vagina so do you really think from this video and the hundreds of thousands of videos that are on tiktok and all of the social media sites that women are select sexually selective not at all not at all. Not in the beginning stages. I think as they grow older and they mature, they become more sexually selective, but not in the beginning. And I'm not saying this of all women. We're never going to say 100% of women, but majority of women are not sexually selective. It's not worked that way. So with that being said, let's go ahead and break down some more fresh and fit and see where they are mistaken.
Cat is trying to put a square peg in a round hole saying my view is crazy, but it's actually based in biological fact and it's worked for millennia. And as a matter of fact, we have the society we have today because of polygamy to some degree. Monogamy as well, but monogamy for the man is a choice. Monogamy for the woman, eh, it's pretty much necessary. That also is incorrect. In the world that we live in today, Monogamy is a choice for everyone. Women have a choice to be monogamous. So do men. And here's a point I like to make about the monogamy because he doesn't necessarily touch base on the children aspect of it. But a lot of men are complaining about women being single mothers. We do need to have some accountability there for women. But if you're a key and you're opening multiple locks, creating multiple children, you need to be more selective with the locks that you open. So if you are opening locks to the type of women that are not good mothers, then you shouldn't be opening those locks. You shouldn't be having sex with those women. And the men are more to blame, in my opinion, because in the black culture, in the black community, there are 2 million more women than there are men. So we have more choices. So if you are selecting women that aren't good locks, that's your fault, not the locks. If she'd rather be twerking than reading a book, that's your bad. That's your problem. So what facts do you have to say that polygamy works? Since the beginning of time, uh -huh. men, high women value men divorced. have had women. But have those them. women actually been happy? That's like, aren't, I mean. aren't we talking relationships on a basis so of whether Kat, or not we're both happy? Irrelevant. Kat, I'm going to be Irrelevant. Marriage? I mean, I'm not going to be sharing no man unless I'm happy. Okay, Kat. You know, I want to be happy. I want to be I want to be feeling like the attention's on me. Okay, well, Kat, here's the thing. See, and I'm going to show you how crazy your argument is here in a second. But hmm. marriage is not about necessarily happiness. I'm going to have to get me wrong there, too. If you're going to get married to someone, their happiness is important. Their happiness is paramount a lot of times to your own happiness, especially if you're a protector and a provider. The issue is, is that this guy is talking from a place of a player or pimp. He's a player. He wants to be a player. He wants his wife when he gets one, to be okay with the fact that he wants to be able to sleep with other women. He wants to be a player and have it be out in the open and not have her do the same thing. That's the problem here. Most men who are in love with their wives want wants her to be happy, needs her to be happy, and does everything in his power possible to bring her happiness. Same thing with the men. The problem is with most men today, and this is key, men, listen up. If you don't have her heart, you don't have her. If you don't have her heart, you don't have her. She may sleep with you just like you may sleep with her, but neither one of you has each other if you don't have the other's heart. Period. in the story. So she's going to cheat on you. She's going to go behind your back if you don't have her heart. And if you don't give her your heart, you'll never, you'll never be faithful. Same thing goes with submission. Submission is coupled to a woman's heart. If you don't have her heart, she will never submit to you. Ever. It's about duty of raising children that are going to be contributing members of society. That's what marriage is about. That's only in the school. West. Okay. Only in the West do we have this crazy concept that we need to be happy at all times within marriage. 
Raising your children in a stable household and giving them food to eat in a, a safe home to be at should be where you derive your happiness. Mm -hmm. And when you break the family apart, which is what's going on in the West, single mother households, etc. Single mother households. So the children are paramount to anything. Children, they, they should be placed before anyone's happiness, the children's happiness. The mom and the child. Yes, you're not going to be happy 24 hours a day all the time. No one is in a relationship. But the other person's happiness is not your responsibility. I'm going to say it again. It is not your responsibility, but it is important. Her happiness is important. So is yours. But what is going to make her happy? If you've got a woman who is mature and she has your heart and you have her heart, it's not it's not hard to make her happy. It won't be. She'll just want you to make the bed and help out with some laundry and, and things of that nature. And if you love her, then you won't have an issue with doing some of those things anyway. Won't be an issue. The problem is, is that he's been heartbroken. Now, I know women say it all the time. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? And men don't want to hear that because we go, oh, no one's hurt me. But some men are hurt. Some men get hurt. And some women are true. Some women are right. Some women are right. It's true. Some men have been hurt. And this is why they take to the Internet and they they go after women. Why? Because something happened in their past, whether it was to them or whether it's to someone that they know. But we all get hurt. We all feel a certain way and we all take it out on someone else. We shouldn't do that. That's not okay either. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us here at Time Out. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Things get fucked up and kids.